Hello YouTube, I'm here today to uh, do a quick video really, a um, little bit nervous because um, I've never actually done one of these before so um, here we go but anyway I'm here to show you my Plectrum collection. I know that sounds immediately very kind of interesting um, and very exciting, you're probably thinking crikey are you, a, are you a rock and roller, well I'm actually not okay, I'm just in a, a very lucky position where I can actually source various plectrums from different people and places to kind of make my little collection up so without further ado we'll press on okay so this is the first one um come on zoom do your job it's a dunlop uh 2.0 millimeter plectrum now 2.0 millimeter means the thickness that is quite a thick plectrum um very kind of strong so that's the first one I'll just place him there. Uh, next up is, <laughs> would you believe it, another Jim Dunlop. Um, this one is of medium gauge. There's no actual kind of numbers on it, um, just a medium gauge. It's a, well, it's a purple colour um, made in the USA, which obviously says there. Uh, not as thick as this other little chap down here, and I'll put him next to him. There. Um, you can see, interestingly enough, the different kind of shades of purple. Okay, this one on its own. Let's take this one away a minute. Would look very kind of purple, wouldn't it, on its own? And put this fella back next to him, and now that looks more purple than that one. It always amazes me that. Okay, uh, next up uh, we have a PV, uh, 0.73 millimeter. Um, I picked this up at the local college, it was actually, uh, we went to watch a gig there um, a couple of years ago and I always kind of hang around afterwards to sort of uh, meet the band and um, yeah this was on the floor, I couldn't believe it, couldn't believe my luck so I actually picked it up really quick and spirited it away, I should really have told them I took it but um, hey it's rock and roll. We'll, we'll put him there. Right, uh, next up um, we have this one. Uh, it's, it's made of nylon, so it's very kind of flexible. I assume it's so the strings aren't actually hurt uh, or broken whilst playing. Um, I think hurt is a musical terminology for hitting the strings quite hard. Um, well, would you believe it? It's made by Jim Dunlop. I should say at this moment in time, I do not work for Jim Dunlop. Uh, I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I am just in a position where I can source uh, some of their plectrums. So I'm going to put him there next to uh, Mr. Peavy. Okay, so the next one up. Um, hate to mention it again. I'm such a Dunlop bore, but it is another Dunlop plectrum. Okay, this one is a. Uh, 0.60 millimeter one so it's quite thin but quite strong now the interesting thing with this one it's made from a material called Tortex which is a very very durable plastic um, but the great thing with this and uh, it makes me laugh every time I see it they've actually put the word Tortex on the back of a tortoise okay can you see that that's <laughs> that really is hilarious it makes me it just makes me laugh every time I see it. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. And I remember the first time I actually saw it, I, I was in absolute stitches. So yeah, so that's that one. Okay, so the next one and the final one, um, there's no real introduction to it. How do you like those apples? Look at that. It says shark fin Sweden if the zoom isn't quite making it out. And it's just the centerpiece of my collection. Oop, little bit maverick, how I threw it on the floor there. What I like about this, and it's quite an enigma because it's got a hole in the corner. And why it's got a hole in the corner is anybody's guess. I assume it's so the guitarist can put some thread around it and then attach it to his wrist. So when he's playing a guitar lick, he doesn't drop it on the floor. Look at that. That's great, isn't it? Okay, so uh, that's my collection of
plectrums. Um, I don't actually give them names, but if I did, off the top of my head, I'd say Brian, Arnold, Ray, Clive, John, and I'd call that one Alan. Um, but that's if I gave them names, which obviously I uh, I don't. Okay, so uh, thanks a lot for listening and viewing. I'll see you soon.